Western Hills. I'm Deborah Blackwell. Uh, and I'm Christopher Elam. And these are announcements for Tuesday, February 25th. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing for the Texas Pledge. On the Texas, Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Seniors, if you are interested in taking the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, ASVAB, on Wednesday, February 26, you will have the opportunity to do so. We are offering a chance to take the test administrated by Air Force, Army, and Navy recruiters. This is a great opportunity to test your vocational skills. The test is free and there is no obligations to join any of the Armed Force Services. If you are interested, please come and see Mr. Collins or any of the Air Force Junior ROT instructors in room 318. Although you slackers have been given multiple opportunities to make up attendance for first semester, there are still some of you who need to make up hours. So the counseling department will be holding free attendance recovery sessions this week on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 345 to 445 in the cafeteria. I know, I know, we said it before, but this is truly the last opportunity for credit recovery for semester one. No exceptions. No exceptions. Our fourth attendance award assembly is fast approaching. We will award this awesome flat screen TV to a student with outstanding attendance on Friday, March 7th. Students with one absent for the fourth report period will have their name placed in the drawing one time. Students with perfect attendance will have their name placed in the drawing twice. Western Hills HS alumni attorney James Scholl of Bimbrook donated the flat screen TV in support of our great students. Thank you, Mr. Scholl, for your support. Now over to Brandon Johnson for sports. Junior Air Force ROTC were with Colonel Molesky in Anniston, Alabama at the National ROTC Marksmanship Competition. The final outcome was Western Hills getting bronze with Cody Vernon overall third place in Ariel Monday in fourth. Take a look at the shooting team. Uh, congratulations to the tennis team which finished seventh out of 22 teams. Allie Hurley and Brittany Marshall played for the Constellation Championship. Way to go Cougars! Last Friday, our Lady Cougars defeated DeSoto High School 18-2 in a dominating performance. On Saturday, our JV girls took second place in the Arlington Heights tournament, defeating Heights 11-2 in 10 in the final game. Our girls will play Alito tonight. In Alito in we play Southwest next Tuesday for our first district home game. Be sure to come out and cheer for our Lady Cougars. Thank you, Brandon. Okay. Okay, here is a quick rundown with graphics for those of you who are still confused about the schedule for this week. Today, you'll go to a long period five, and then a short period two, and then finish the day with period six and seven. Tomorrow will be a shutdown day with all the students in ninth, tenth taking the ACT, and juniors taking the SAT. Get lots of sleep and eat good, and eat a good breakfast, with both protein and carbohydrates. Seniors will be in the gymnasium for a very important senior meeting, guest speakers, and verification of your names for graduation. On Thursday, we will meet in periods one, two, three, and then go to lunch, followed by period four after lunch. Friday will be a repeat of today's schedule. Thank you, Western Hills. I'm Denver Blackwell. And I'm Chris Freelo. And we hope you have a terrific testing Tuesday.